uh, you know what exactly is instagram marketing uh, just to give you uh, and set the foundation right basically instagram marketing is a uh, making use of instagram to build a community of like minded individuals right so you are providing to the end user okay why should uh, i follow you uh, when you follow a specific handle that handles content is visible on your instagram feed uh we'll be covering instagram master uh, workshop today uh okay i will be uh, taking you guys through uh, uh, you know what exactly is instagram marketing and uh, we'll also um, kind of uh, uh, you know see how an instagram account is made correct uh, uh we will also look into instagram content calendar how to make instagram content calendar uh, and what are the different types of formats which you can make use of to uh, uh, you know kind of uh, uh, leverage instagram okay Uh, apart from that i will also take you through uh, you know what is a cohesive design language for instagram now what do i mean by that uh, basically what i uh, mean is that uh, you know what is the importance of having a very good instagram design language okay when you are uh, working for a brand on instagram you cannot make random colors or you know random fonts every time there needs to be some sort of uniformity whenever you are managing a instagram brand so we will also look into that and then in the at the last uh, uh, towards the end of the session we'll cover instagram analytics okay so uh, while i will not be able to give you uh, you know a walk through of a live dashboard of instagram but i'll uh, share a few um, key things that you need to uh, look into when you are looking at instagram analytics what are some key um, result areas which will identify and help you to understand whether your instagram brand account is growing or not you know so we'll look into that as well so this is uh, over on what the session for today will entail and uh, please feel free to share your questions uh, uh, you know in the chat box and um, i'll be happy to take it up okay so let's start quickly with uh, you know what exactly is instagram marketing okay so uh, just to give you uh, and set the foundation right basically instagram marketing is a uh, making use of instagram to build a community of like minded individuals right so for example if i am a brand of zomato okay i want to build a community of instagram using marketing instagram marketing uh, to build you know individuals who have uh, similar food choices who, who like to uh, you know have indulgence when it comes to food who like to order food who like convenience basically right so that's what instagram marketing has to do instagram marketing has to build a community of like minded individuals let's say you're running a skin care brand so it's important for you that the people who follow your skin care brand have like minded uh, uh, you know mindset when it comes to skin care right so that's uh, the first thing of uh, what it exactly is instagram marketing uh, second is also to build awareness about your products and services correct so while you are building like minded individuals it's also important that these like minded individuals are aware about your product right so uh, for example dipika padukone recently launched 82e which is a skin care product okay and if you see the whole uh, tone of the the brand page is about self love and self care and you know taking care of yourself so while she is building on the overall overarching thought of self care she is also creating awareness through that by to with the help of her products which is you know her sunscreen or maybe the serum which she's launched so on and so forth so while you're you know building community of like minded individuals uh, you also need to make sure that you create awareness about your products and services while building this community right and then the third point is giving value to your users uh, through some valuable content right so at the end of the day why should a user or a fan follow you is a question which you need to ask as a brand manager or as a social media manager you know it all comes down to the value you are providing to the end user okay why should uh, i follow you uh, when you follow a specific handle that handles content is visible on your instagram feed right on your instagram page when you log into instagram so people are very careful about their following because they know that if i follow a certain person i will be updated in terms of what that person or that brand is sharing so if the brand is not sharing any valuable content there will be high chances that the fan will unfollow that handle so it is very important that instagram marketing uh should give some sort of valuable content to the end user okay so that is also a part of instagram marketing 
okay now uh, we'll quickly let like, i'll give you a walk through of what are the different instagram accounts available right so uh, we all know that you know the by default when you create an instagram account it's a personal account right so whenever you go and you create your instagram account by default by default means that uh, without doing any setting instagram will automatically make your account as a personal account okay and by personal account means it's a regular account which you can use to stay connected with your friends and families okay so uh, you can just stay updated about you know what are your friends and family doing you can follow them send them requests pass that's it but you cannot do anything else beyond that say for example if you want to run ads you can't do that using a personal account if you want to see how is your content performing you can't do using the personal account right so this is some limitations of the personal account because the main objective of having a personal account is only for personal reasons it's not for business purposes so hence personal account ka limitation is also very limited okay but let's say if you want to create a account or run an account for a business or a brand okay then what do you do you think personal account will actually do the purpose that's when you have the professional account right so this is the business account of the professional account where small retailers businesses business owners they set up the business account and the the main uh, differentiation between a personal and a business account is that you can also see a lot of these uh, Uh, you know the the professional dashboard where you can see the analytics in terms of what is the content which is being posted how is it being performed if you put a specific content uh, what was the reach it got what was the likes it got what was the engagement it got that is the kind of analytics you can see through your business account okay you also uh, get to update a lot of your information in your business account right so for example if you want to add your business address in it you know you can add that you can add your website link in it uh, in your business account which you can't in your personal account okay so that's the second difference uh, you can also run ads right so if you want to put some money behind some content you can make use of your business account to run ads so that's the second part of the business account and the third type account, third type of the account is the creators account what is the creators account basically creators account is very similar to the business account okay the only difference which it has is that the kind of music library the creators account has is a little more richer right because creators account is for people and influencers for example um, uh, a creator like mostly sane right or a creator like tanmay bhat these creators will have a creator account they won't have a business account because they are not running a brand right so the kind of access they will have to music library will be far more richer because they need a lot of music and entertainment to create rich content right second difference which the creator account uh, has which you know the business account doesn't has is you cannot have a business address updated in the creators account right because creators account is mostly for individuals right who don't uh, who don't have a physical presence you know they're not located somewhere i can't say that a tanmay bhat ka business address is this correct but i can say that a kaya skin clinic is located at so and so location or a mad over donuts or a mcdonalds is located at so and so location right so that is the second difference where you cannot update uh, you know the address in the creators account but you can do it in the business account so whenever you are uh, looking to create uh, an instagram account for a brand you have to create a business account and not a creators account okay just keep that in mind but if you want to create an account for your own self let's say tomorrow you want to become an influencer you want to create content you want to give some value to your end users that's when you can create a creators account understood